One of the more common tools I use almost on a daily basis when I'm doing 3D modeling is converting a image, a JPEG, a PNG to a 3D printable STL file. And it's actually deceptively easy but not very intuitive. So the very first thing, ultimately what we need to do here is take our image file and convert it to a SVG. So I there's two methods. The first and the easiest is to use a converter. So right here we have this convertio.co. It's a free website, you just upload your image, you convert to an SVG. It's pretty quick. I've already gone and done this for us, so it's in the bottom left here, that SVG file. You can then go into Tinkercad here, and under Downloads, I've got this, and sometimes you're gonna have to rescale it. It all depends on exactly what you're printing, the file size, there's a lot of factors. But ultimately, this is going to bring this in. It looks really good. Now, the limitation to Convertio is that this is a very simple logo right here. It's white background with black letters. Very easy, very simple, very delineated. If you have something like this Louisville Cardinal, this is gonna be more difficult. Convertio won't be able to do as good of a job. And so that's where we have our second method. And this is using Inkscape. Now, again, Inkscape is something that again is a free software doesn't take up much space on your computer and you can convert this to an SVG very easily as well so let's begin with that uh, logo of Varian so simply you just do file open sometimes this little option uh, sometimes I do smooth sometimes I do none doesn't I haven't really noticed a big difference so it's going to bring in this file so now you have your JPEG right here click just left click on the image. If you right click and do trace bitmap, you are now going to have an option here on the right side. And there is a lot of options here. Again, for something very simple, like this logo where it's very delineated and it's not very complicated, the default settings are probably perfectly fine. I keep it at brightness cutoff, thresholds are fine, all of this looks good. It gives you an update, so you could just hit apply. So now what was done is, and this looks identical because again, it's a very simple object, but I've left clicked on this image and notice that there is no preview. When I click on this image, there is a preview. So this is my actual JPEG. Right here is my, the bitmap trace that I made. So what I can do at this point is simply save it as a export, there's a little option on the top right. You can also do file export. And when you do that, you get an option again with some additional settings. Here in the bottom right, just do SVG, determine where you wanna save it, export it. I've already done this, so I'm just gonna replace it. And now you do exactly the same thing as before. So you can come in here, you can import, this time it's on my desktop. It's called Varian. And again, I'm gonna have to scale down because it must be a big file. So then I'll be able to bring this in and it will be curious to see if there's any differences here. So while that's coming in, I do wanna show you something more complex like this Cardinal Bird. So when you click, the normal offset, the default is set at 0.45. So notice, if you use the default settings here, this is what your preview would look like. We can hit apply, and I mean, potentially that, that could look okay when you 3D print it, but that's not what I want. So I'm gonna hit delete, and here's where you can play with some of these settings. And you'll notice if you increase the threshold, this is a pretty good quality image, so you may not notice it, but eventually everything's gonna start to turn black, it becomes saturated. So what you wanna actually do is decrease the threshold. And again, when you can see a live update, I can keep decreasing it until ultimately I get to a point right here. That's what I want. I can hit apply and I can move that image out of the way. This now is my bitmap. And again, I can go to export. I can convert this to an SVG. 
export it. Now I can bring this into Tinkercad and continue to work with it, put in some colors, edit it however I would like. But that is very simply how you can convert an image file to a STL very easily. You can 3D print these, modify these. I hope this helps. For me, it was an absolute game changer. Two easy methods. Hopefully, Convertio works for you because it's the easiest. You don't need to download anything. But if not, Inkscape is definitely a very useful tool. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks a ton for watching and happy printing.